The mayor has ordered flags to fly at half staff until the scheduled internment for this sergeant who was killed in the line of duty today. Every so often, we are reminded in the most tragic way possible of just how dangerous and unpredictable police work can be in New York City. A frantic 911 call Friday afternoon reporting a home invasion at this apartment building in the Bronx led to a suspect identified as 35 year old Manuel Rosales fleeing from officers. He was armed, trying to force his way into his estranged wife's apartment to see their three-year-old son. This eyewitness, too scared to go on camera, describes a frantic scene as officers converged on the apartment building. We were basically trapped in our car when the crime scene tape was going up. But Rosales was already on the run. Officers caught up with him a few blocks away, not far from the Cross Bronx Expressway. Cornered, Rosales drew and fired his weapon at NYPD Sergeant Paul Tuozolo as he approached, fatally shooting him in the head. Police returned fire striking the suspect. During the exchange of gunfire, two uniformed sergeants were shot. The suspect was pronounced dead at the scene. The sergeant, a married father of two, a 19-year department veteran, was just one year away from being eligible to retire. The city is in mourning, and the family of the NYPD is in mourning, and particularly all the men and women of the 4th Street Precinct are in mourning right now. The loss, a very good man, a devoted man, a man who committed his life to protecting all of us. A second NYPD sergeant, now recovering at Jacoby Hospital, was also shot in the leg, caught in the crossfire during the shootout with Rosales. Who, what did wrong was that mutt that was in that car that can't get along with his family and tried to kill New York City police officers and unfortunately killed a New York City police sergeant. That's who to blame always. It's just really a... A, a shame and a disgrace that people who went into law enforcement in order to protect us, to protect the public, are now dead for just doing their job. Police unit officials say that among the officers engaged in that shootout was a police cadet in training in the field for just three days.